fellow environmentalists. We're here at Baobab College, uh, taking part in a tree planting event. With me is Mr. David Hoskins, who is the communications administrator here at Baobab College. Welcome to the interview, David. Thank you so much. So, getting straight into it, um, why exactly is Baobab College having this particular event today? Thank you. Well, thank you so much for the question. So, Baobab College is very much concerned with the environment and uh, environmental protection and environmental development is one of the key aims and is actually a, 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 a key in our um, mission for Baobab College for education for our children. Um, so, over the last few years, we've actually been developing an environmental zone uh, here at Baobab. Uh, we're blessed with a wonderful piece of land. We, we sit on 100 acres here. We already have uh, quite a developed bush section that's back here. Uh, and there's a section here of grassland that we want to develop as an open forest area. Um, so it was really important to us to get the community involved uh, in planting and also in education uh, about the importance of environmental protection. Okay. So as um, an institution, why do you feel it's important to have children involved in activities like this? Well, of course, <coughs> in the curriculum, we our school runs from age 2 to 18. So um, we have environmental uh, focus in the curriculum all the way through. So we do have planting. Uh, there's obviously the science curriculum, there's a lot of uh, environmental sections in the science curriculum. Uh, and it's great as well as the academics. Isn't it wonderful to be able to get out into the field and actually see and feel and touch, uh, you know, the, the growth of, of things. So, um, it, of course, it's important for children to understand the theory of environmental protection, but, you know, tree planting is a wonderful way uh, for children to actually get their hands dirty and get involved and, and actually see and feel ownership of the project for environmental protection. Then I've noticed that you had um, an agricultural project running for the last two years. Why have you found it necessary to have an emphasis on agriculture? Well, agriculture is essential for all of us. Um, for you know, in our, our planet, is, our population is, is growing. Uh, the, the need to feed people sustainably is one of the fundamental challenges for humanity. So, of course, it's an essential part of education. Uh, and and we take great responsibility to really educate uh, our uh, agriculture students so that they really know how to manage the land. Um, uh, we, we want to play our part. <laughs> so we have reintroduced uh, GCSE in agriculture. So we have students studying agriculture as an examination study. Um, and we've just completed our first program. Uh, but, and then we have a, we have more students coming through, so it's it's wonderful that we have an opportunity to actually grow things on our land and then for people to, to get involved. As well as the agriculture plot here, so the, you know here we're, we're growing cabbages, we're growing maize, we're growing carrots. Uh, there's there's so much going on on the agriculture plot. As well as that, we work with local farmers, and indeed we have farmers in our school community who actually invite us and invite the students to come and see sustainable farming. Sure. So there's, uh, you know, education is, is, is part of the development of sustainable farming within Zambia. Okay. Awesome. Uh, lastly, what's your word of advice, encouragement to everyone out there? Um, thank you. Well, I think that um, today has been a wonderful event in so many ways because it's a community event, it's a community coming together. It's uh, families getting together and actually doing something for the benefit of the environment. Um, and uh, so it, it, it's about collaboration. Uh, we've actually planted over 500 trees today, which is an extraordinary achievement. Awesome. And over the last two years, we've developed a forestry here now with 700 uh, which will be for the enjoyment of everybody for the years to come. Wow. So, it's 
So I think for my advice for people to get involved in the environment is to have a holistic approach, to um, include education, uh, but as well as teaching the theory, to actually give people the opportunity to get involved, get their hands dirty, and actually feel the environment. Yes. Yeah. So I've changed that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for having this moment with us. We wish you all the best. Uh, you're very welcome. I'm so glad you make to make it. Um, thank you so much for, for gracing us with your presence and for uh, enjoying this project with us. I'm very grateful. Thank you. So thank you so much for tuning in. We'll be right back.